Von Willebrand disease is a very complex disorder, and uh, what is known that is that most uh, available current treatment options are kind of effective to uh, stop the bleedings in these patients, but um, they are not very effective in giving the patient a good quality of life, as demonstrated by the high incidence of uh, depression and anxiety in these patients. So we definitely need uh, more and better treatment options for these patients. So there are new treatment options that are um, under investigation right now, and in our lab we have explored a few of these options. Um, one of these is a a specific nanobody that bind um, concomitantly VWF and albumin. And this is able to, uh, has been shown in a mouse model of von Willebrand disease type one, to be effectively uh, able to increase von Willebrand factor antigen levels, um, as well as um, correcting the bleeding tendency of these mice. Um, there is another molecule that is uh, out there, it's BT200, and uh, this could be, um, it's a naptamer that it can be beneficial in von Willebrand disease type 2B patients that have thrombocytopenia, uh, as well as um, hemophilia A patients. Um, and then um, it's um, interesting to explore uh, a future use of emicizumab in von Willebrand disease uh, patients. And this could be useful for, um, it has been shown that this is uh, successful in von Willebrand disease type 3 patients, but it would be interesting to see if it's uh, um, successful in other von Willebrand disease patients. And in the lab, we have explored um, this um, way in a mouse model of von Willebrand disease type 3 and type 2A. Uh, and we have, uh, to our surprise, seen that um, emicizumab uh, seems to have no effect, at least in our mouse model of von Willebrand disease type 2A. In another study, we have shown that synthetic platelets that are able to um, cooperate with the endogenous platelets uh, ha have been able to ameliorate the bleeding tendency of von Willebrand disease type 3 and type 2B mice uh, with uh, a lot of advantages. So this is another way to explore potential new treatments for von Willebrand disease.